Hey guys, Pankaj here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve another hacker rank series problem um, that will be based on regular expression. Okay, so you'll get some hands-on on regex also, and you'll see how to solve the problem. So let me share my screen. Okay, so as usual, I'll open hacker rank. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go to regex practice. Okay. So under this, I'm going to take very interesting problem that is British and American style of spelling. So let's see what this problem tells and what is the problem statement. Okay. So American English and British English differ in a several aspects with <coughs> uh, which are reflected in their spelling. One difference frequently observed is that words written in American English which have suffix Z E. Okay, so please notice all those things often end in sc in british english okay so english word will american english will end with ze and british english will end with se so the, these are the key points for this particular problem uh, given the american english spelling for of a word which ends in ze your task is to find the total count of all british and american variants in all the given sequence of word that is you need to account for the cases where the word occurs as it is given to you the version ending in minus ZD or hyphen ZD, and you also need to find the occurrences of its British English counterpart, that is the version ending in SE. Okay, so let's talk about the input format now. First line contains N, and N lines follow each line contains a sequence of words W separated by a single space. Next line contains T, and T test cases follow in a new line. Each line contain, uh, contains in a contains the American English spelling of word W. Okay, so what are the constraints? So N should be uh, greater than or equal to one, but less than or equal to 10. Each line doesn't contain more than 10 words. Each character of W and W dash, so W is for American English, W dash is for British English, is a lowercase alphabet. If C is the count of number of character of W or W dash, then C should not be uh, greater than or equal to 20, okay? Or less than or equal to 20 only and get an equal to one. Similarly, test case, one to 10. So W dash end with ZE, US version of the world. Okay, what is the output format? Output T lines and, and in each line output the total number of American English version, uh, British version of W in all of N lines that contains a sequence of word. <clears throat> okay, so what it needs, um, so once you uh, start getting the in input from the user, so first line is going to contain the total number of line which is going to have in the next. So that is two here. So next two line will be your given sentence, complete sentence. Okay, and after that you will have another line which will have number one or it could be any number and you need to find out those number of words. Okay, so that is what it takes sample output to Y2 because familiarize it is occurring two times, right? So hacker rank has such a good UI that it takes no time to familiarize its environment to familiarize oneself. Oneself with UI of hacker rank is easy. So as you see here, one ends with SC, one ends with ZD. So we need to find this kind of word. Make sure that we have to count both SC as well as ZE. Okay, so let's go back to the problem and let's start writing. So here in this code, they have not provided any any you know stuff of the program. So we have to write everything from scratch. Okay, so first we have to work on this input. Okay, so we need to store these number, these two sentences, and the number of words needs to be find out. Okay, so first is n. So let me store int input. Okay, next is so remember guys, this is not a single line where all the complete sentences there. It is. Uh, consists of two line. It could be n line also. Here we have two, so it should be two line. If it is given five, the next five line will be your complete sentence. Okay, so we need to take this particular number and iterate over the for loop and keep getting the input. So what I'll do, I'll to make when one full sentence of these n lines, what I'll do, I'll just create a string. Let's say sent nothing but a sentence equal to nothing. And I'll keep appending those uh, every line of that sentence into the sentence variable. 
for this in <clears throat> range n because n number of lines are there, right? Sent plus equal to in. So keep fetching the data from the user and keep appending to sent to form a complete sentence. Okay, so now we have it ready. So let's take a look how the n and sentence looks like so that we can proceed. Okay, let me run it first. So guys, you also, when you write, right, step by step, you keep debugging and see the output, okay? So my output is, I got two and hacker rank. Yeah, this complete line, it has been appended in a single sentence. So up to here, it is good. Now you can comment or you can delete. So I'm just going to delete it. Now what next do we have to do? Fetch the number of word which needs to be found, okay? So I'll just make it test T because those are the test cases, right? Equal to int input. Okay, so again, uh, n number of times or t times those numbers will be there. So t is one, so only one word will be there. And here I'll make this case equal to empty because you never know, right? How many word they are going to search it. For each word, we need to find out whether it is ending with S, E, or Z, D, and just print total number of occurrences. So what I'll do now for in range t keep getting the input or append keep appending into tc tc stands for test case append what i need to append input keep getting okay so i can just write inside that only okay so now this is also ready now what next to be done so our test case list of all the test cases is ready and complete sentence is ready now we have to write a pattern so for that I am going to import import re that is regular expression. Okay, now what I do, I am going to iterate over each word whatever it has been added to the test cases, and I am going to search in the form of pattern so that search in the in the form of pattern in sentence. If it is present, then return the count. Okay, so what I'll do for small test case in TC means for each word. Let's create a search object, okay? So those who doesn't know about regular expression, please watch my regular expression video, then come back to this so that you will understand what I'm trying to do here. So re dot find all. Actually, we need to find all, right? So I can, instead of using search object, I'll just use final output equal to re dot find all. In this I'm going to write pattern. Okay, so now here the tricky part is, since you are going to get the test case runtime, right? We are not hard coding. So you cannot hard code the pattern. We have to get it runtime and keep it replacing. Okay, so here I'll use a string format technique and replace each word in the pattern. So what is my each word? Test case. Okay. So here is your test case. But now remember guys, test case is nothing but let's say first word is familiarized. So the moment I get first complete familiarize, this is going to be replaced here. Okay, but what about this? SE, we have both, right? So in this case, what we can do, we know, right, last two character only they are talking, right? If you see the problem statement, only last two character they are worried. So what I'll do from the test case, I'll take only last two character. So colon minus two. So I'll always get Familiar, familiarize, okay, that is till RI I'll get and ZD I'm omitting. Why I'm omitting, let me just explain now. So I can give this word, now it is replaced. After that, I'm going to put a condition here. It could be either ZE or SE. So up to here, I'll get familiarize, then ZE, familiarize or familiarize. Okay, so those two words will be automatically get found. So the, that is the trick part. This is the catchy part in this whole problem statement. Okay. So now we formatted and where we are going to search in the sentence. Okay. So once we have complete OP, so it will find all the word and just you guys need to return. What is the output? How many occurrences, right? So just return length of OP. So let's see it works or not.
Okay, so this test case is passed. Let's run all the test case and see what is happening. Okay, well, all test cases are passing. Why it is passing? Because see, this is the catchy part. If you are perfect in this, then definitely it is going to pass all the test case. Okay, so main thing was this part. That is why I have taken this problem so that you guys can understand how. So three things you are learning here. Okay, so one is like, uh, how to write the whole program from the scratch because there's no stuff provided here. Another one is how to replace the pattern or how to form the pattern runtime because you are iterating over loop again and again, correct? And how to filter these kind of test cases using indexing and slicing, okay? So that's all about this guys. I hope you like this program and uh, many more program is going to come on regular expression. So you will understand other concepts also. Okay guys, so that's all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.